this is our camp. And this is not a spring chick, so today we're going to be reporting on cons. This is our daily, cons daily, ten. number 10. And they're day 8. Mm -hmm. It's basically winding down because this is Thursday, Friday, Saturday. <coughs> it's the 27th at the end, I think. But um, the weather in cons has improved over the past two days, up until about an hour ago, and then it started raining again. Ooh. Now, when we're talking about, we're talking live time, we're not talking about like what it was yesterday. No, we're, we're talking, talking about the weather. When this is being done, it is raining right now. So the information that we're going to share with you about some of the stuff happened. When the weather was good. And because the weather was good, the people came out to play. So she's actually got something to talk about. You know, about. I actually am laughing because I, I made a joke. I'm like, rain, rain, go away so my friends and cons can go out and play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's coming back, though. Um, in about 12 hours from now, the rain that is southward is moving mm -hmm. northward. It's raining cats and dogs 60 miles from Cons. Mm -hmm. And it is coming towards them, and the rain schedule is for, uh, uh, for the next three days, two to three inches of rain with uh, cooling weather. And they, I love the line. They have snow in the thing. It's got, it, says, really? it says only a slight chance of snow. Oh. Slight chance. Slight chance of snow. But that has not been on my forecast until today, a slight chance of snow. That's because it got into the teens the other day with the rain, which means they had, they had sleep more than They probably had snow. But, uh, Ooh, they might have had sleep and all that mm, stuff. Okay. Here's a good part, which is what I'm really excited about, is they actually got to see fireworks last night. They were supposed to see fireworks the night before, and I think it got actually, rained out. two nights before. Two nights before? Yeah. Yeah, because this is last night. It's been night. Rained, out for two, rained out for two days, so. Yeah, so they actually got to see fireworks. Also, Simple Minds were live in, in cons at the replay party. And the India party, the, i got to hand it to you. They said, this is notes from people that I know that go to a lot of events. They said, the Indian party has been, hands down, the biggest, most entertaining bash. That's quite a lot to say. And the Kim Kardashian party last night at the VIP room at the JW Marriott. And Calvin Harris is performing tonight. And, let's see, Kanye West is... Well, we'll get to his movies, because um, we're going to go to all well, the movies after here, this. Here's my, my two cents. If you have to have a Kardashian there to get news, you're really screwed, folks. <laughs> um, Kanye West is de debuting his short film, Cruel Summer, um, Wednesday at the Cannes Film Festival. And the big highlight, oh, we got this show's playing, Kristen Stewart. Kristen Stewart in uh, On the Road. And it's important because Kirsten Stewart takes her top off in the back seat of a car. Ooh. Here's the trick is, will you ever see it, will you ever see her top off anywhere other than at Cannes? Don't bet on it. Mm -hmm. Because what they do at the Cannes Film Festival and what gets released are not always the same movie. And Robert Pattinson made his debut on the Cannes red carpet for the first time with, um, when he went with girlfriend Kirsten Stewart on the road today. For that um, photo, I guess it was the, the photo call for the premiere. Yeah. So he has his own project, Cosmopolis, which is going to it's be. It's in competition also. Yeah. Basically, they got two movies in competition. One for her and one, one for, for him. her. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but the problem is, are they in competition because they're good movies? Are they in competition because they had to have something from the Americans in order to get anybody in the United States to pay any attention? Well, they didn't have that many movies from Americans, and those were two movies right there. They started out with six, and I think they got narrowed down to four. And so these are two of the four movies. Not yeah. bad. Well, but the problem is, three of the three of the movies that were in competition were Matthew McConaughey, who just is got to show up finally. He finally showed up. Yeah. yeah. Finally. Finally showed up. I'm like, he was, his first the, the, film. The first film was with Bruce Willis. And yeah. uh, I was Moonrise Sunset or something like that. I never, I <laughs> basically, I do not, it, 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 it was the first movie show and it basically. And it, we always get that name mixed up for some sunrise, reason. Moonset, sunrise, moonrise, Moonrise, Moonset. Moonrise, Sunset. Sunrise, Sunrise. 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 So it's, I have no Okay. Idea. So I, I could actually find it real quick. Okay. It's the Moonrise movie. What we'll do is we'll tell you that the movies that played the day, which were a few hours ago, was um, On the Road and Holy Motors, and then we'll go back. I go to the top of my, it's nice to have a computer because, you know, I don't have a telephone. It was Moon, Moonrise Kingdom. It is Moonrise Kingdom. I knew it was a Moonrise. But, um, but, um, 
so it's a, it's a pretty good deal. I mean, and the movies today are? Like I said, On the Road and Holy Motors. Oh, but if yeah. you want to see the 24 That's movies, like a theme, Holy Motors and On the Road. It seems like a car, car thing today. The car movies today, basically. But um, basically, we'll try, uh, On the Road was a, AMC Networks announced the acquisition of U.S. rights to the claim filmmaker Walter Sells On the Road to be released jointly by the company's film distribution label. It's, it's, it's cheap ass thing. I mean, IFC Films and Sundance. <laughs> Which means it's going to get no play whatsoever. Except it's been bought for television. Like I said, do not look for Kirsten Stewart to have her top off, except in the, in the stills that were accidentally. You got your little camera and the people in there, they got their cell phones, they're snapping pictures of Kirsten Stewart. Topless, which basically is in the back seat of an automobile, which is probably not a focus shot to begin with. But, uh, well, I always love how they, they bring it out because it, depends, it always depends on what cut you get because she could be in the backyard um, changing her shirt, which is quite common here, yeah. especially towards the beach areas. And so you might get a bare shoulder. Oh, right. right? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. You, you see more in California and they're restrictive. But, and we had a statement from Kirsten Stewart on the movie. Yes, and this is on her character, Mary Lou. She mm -hmm. says, I really like Mary Lou's character. The strength of her personality and the relevance of what she says are striking. She's not a rebel. She's just herself. Her main aim is to be fully human. For me, she embodies the spirit of the book in a moment of doubt. When shooting, I really felt her there with me. Okay. When a girl that doesn't get naked gets naked, that's what they always say. Oh, is that what they that's say? That's what they It was because she would have done it. Ah. That, I, that, okay, that's what they used to call a home guard. Basically, if you wanted to get a girl naked when I was back in college, well, yes, 60 years ago, you'd say, I'm making a French avant-garde film. Oh, I have to take my clothes off? Hey, yes, all of your clothes. So um, I actually know one of the top directors in the industry that basically got, fought, got thrown out of college because he put the dean's daughter in a closet with another guy with no clothes on. Mm. Well, it used to be popular in those days to draw lots of these good to go to girls. But Vigo, uh, Vigo Merkenstern was in it. He read... He read the book for the film and became aware of how relevant it is to today's world. Today, you can you can sense a sort of rejection of the economic crisis and the authorities on the part of the young people. I shall quote Aristotle. I was going to play it for. I fear for the future of our world when you see the caliber of the youth that we are producing today. Oh. Yeah. So we're talking like. 4,000 years ago, they were, you know, youth were protesting. They, they youth were not much good at anything. So, so. But, oh, here's a good one, too. And we're going to set a trend. If it is Wednesday in Cannes, what should have happened that did not happen today? What? Jackie Chan did not come out and tell people he's not retiring. Oh. So we'll see if it starts a trend and he doesn't tell people he's not retiring tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But uh, I know you think we're making a farce of things. Well, I read the original press release. The original press release sort of conforms to what he's been saying all along. He was returning to, okay, his movies were more artistic and funny and slapstick action than they were, and they were actually heavy dramas too. But they were, but they didn't rely on basically, you know, breaking every bone in your body. That's what he said he was going to be doing from now on. At 58 years old. And I mean, bones don't heal as well. They don't bounce. I can tell you that. I don't bounce as well as I did when I was her age. Mm -hmm. But um, but no, I mean, we're, you know, we, we got a lot. I mean, okay, here's the thing, too. There was so god awful much stuff to read today. Go to our cons daily yes. and uh, pick up that because we actually we, we haven't done our quote of the day yet, have we? Uh, well, we have our cons daily and we also have highlights from cons. And the highlights from cons is a running, it's, it's, being updated daily as we receive information, but they're highlights. Yeah. So we're getting pictures, quotes. Oh, and then we got the one that we've actually read that we thought was rather funny. You know, this one came from, um, this one definitely come from friends of Sean Penn. Um, you know, like this one. I mean, this is for everybody out there that believes in everything that they hear being said on camera. As a director, you have complete freedom in Haiti. Nobody can... Stop you from doing something. Haitians won their freedom of speech, and that's irreversible. And that's by. That is by Raul Peck, who made the move. Who made a movie uh, <laughs> that's on release, showing how. Well, you know the Haitians are basically, you know, this and that. Okay, hey, okay. Here's the funny part about it. If they said it in the Dominican Republic, I'd be more likely to believe it. They're both on the island of Hispaniola. Dominic is Haiti here. Dominican Republic here. Haiti is broke. 
Dominican Republic is god awful wealthy. The people that are broke basically toss you in jail if you say anything adverse about anybody. Mm -hmm. So, but it's, it, but remember, socialism is superior to capitalism, and socialism gives you all the rights to do anything you want to do. They never saw a gulag. Ooh. So, I mean, do I buy that one? No. But okay, you got anything else you want to keep people up to date on today? No, we'll find out what's going on with the Sea Shepherd, who's having their press conference probably right about right now. Oh yeah, you, she she got information on that one. She basically they, they invited her to a press conference to stay, which she got, uh, she got to go. I only get photo calls. She gets she gets the good stuff, but it probably serve food. They might. They don't do food at, pre at photo calls. Well, the captain was going to be there, Captain Paul Watson and Michelle Rodriguez. In fact, he's That's gone. That's what Michelle Rodriguez was doing there. She's been there for days. Yeah, in fact, um, when, this is the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society, who, which has a, a show. Um, com in the book, they have Confessions of an Echo t Terrorist. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah, I they saw had that. a party last year. I went to yeah, the party. You went to that one. Actually, here in LA. And Mel Michelle Rod Rodriguez was there for the party, too. Yeah. yeah. So anyway. So I guess until tomorrow, this is old Kim. And this is not a spring chick. Oh, I have to tell you, it does say on here, after spending eight days in the custody of German authorities, Captain Paul Watson to be released on bail this today. <laughs> yeah. So he was released just before the party in the news conference. Yeah. No, we don't really know that he got released. It's I know. This he's is supposed to be. but. Um, oh, so we'll see what. We'll know later. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens. So until tomorrow, when we follow up on cons, for more information, you can go to www.montybubble.net on the net. We'll be putting production notes up as fast as we can get our hands on them, which isn't fast. And um, and go to www.mbn News Video Web, where all of the breaking news is. We're putting that stuff up as fast as we get it. And um, you know, we're actually, we're trying to put up what you think is wrong with you. You really don't give a rats and you know what about anything out of the United States. Well, so a lot of this has to do that we're putting up is um, information from context that we know and it's American movies. Yeah, because you don't care about the foreign films. So. They might if they're in another country. Yeah, but they don't, Americans don't care about this stuff out of this country, so. Which is why the Cannes Film Festival is not getting any attention, so. Yeah, so anyway, so also on Facebook, come follow us on Monty Bubbles Network for getting updates on there, mm -hmm. as well as on Twitter, so thank you. Once again for following us, and thank you for over 250 million. <laughs>